All right, guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a sprint system inside of your game in Unreal Engine 5. It's super easy, super simple, so let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, and then we're going to go down to our Project Settings. And then inside of our Project Settings, we're going to go over to Input, and then we're going to be creating a brand new action mapping, and I'm going to type in, I'm going to call this Sprint. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this little drop down, and I'm just going to type in Left Shift. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my content browser, I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to go down to Blueprint, and we're going to be creating an enumeration. Now, if you don't know what an enumeration is, it's basically something that allows you to keep different data structures for different states that you have inside of your game. For example, we're just going to be naming this e uh, movement states. And I'm just going to double click on this right here. And then once I double click on this, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this little plus icon right here. And then I'm just going to have a display name and I'm going to type in idle. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this icon again. And then I'm just going to type in walking. And I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to type in sprinting. So like I said, enumerations are basically allowing you to keep data structures inside your game so everything is nice and clean. And then once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to close this down. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my content browser. I'm going to go back into my third person character. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of variables. So the first thing I want to create, I'm going to be creating a Boolean variable that says is sprint key down. And I'm going to make sure that this is set to false after I compile it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create another variable. And I'm just going to get a reference to our enumeration variable that we made. So I'm going to type in e states, e movement states. And then I'm going to click on this little drop down right here. I'm just going to look up and search up e movement states. And then I'm going to click on this little icon, this e enumeration right here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on this little plus icon right here to create a brand new function. And I'm going to call this set movement speed. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little node right here and I'm going to create an input and I'm just going to call this speed and it's going to be a reference to the enumeration that we just created. So I'm going to type in movement speed and then I'm going to get a movement to our movement states. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag off this and I'm going to type in select. And you guys, you can see now that we have a reference to all the states that we put in our enumeration. So the next thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to drag off and I'm going to get my character movement. And then from character movement, I'm going to type in set max walk speed. And then the next thing you know, I'm going to drag this right here in order to be into my max walk speed. And then after that, I'm just going to connect this node up right here. So what I'm going to do is I have idle. We're going to set that to zero for our max walk speed. We're going to set this to 250. And then for our sprint speed, we're going to set this to 600. And then what I also want to do is I want to go over here and I want to get a return node. So we're going to add a return node. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the return node. And then we're just going to plus on this little icon right here. And I'm going to change this and I'm going to type in speed value. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to a float value. And then once I do that, I'm just going to connect my movement speed up to this. And I'm going to go ahead and connect this right here. So now I'm just going to hit compile. So now we have this function set up. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to be going back into our event graph. So once we get inside of our event graph, what we're going to want to do is I'm actually going to go to this open space right here. I'm going to type in sprinting to get a reference to that action mapping that we made with the sprint. And then what I'm going to do right there, I'm basically just going to be getting a reference to this um, boolean variable that we created. And I'm going to set this. And what I'm going to do off press is I'm going to set is sprint key down to true. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the function we just created, which is our set movement speed function. And I'm going to connect this. And then what I want to do is I want to change this right here. Instead of being idle, I'm going to click on this little drop down and I'm going to change this to say sprinting. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this code. And I'm just going to set our movement is sprint key down to false when it is on release. And then we're going to click on our set movement speed and we're going to change the enumeration back to walking. So now one more thing you guys want to do is we're going to go into our character's movement speed. Now if you go down to your max walk speed, when you start the Unreal Engine, it will basically be set to 500. But for me, in order for this to work, I just had to set max walk speed down to 250. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and compile. Now if I hit play, 
and I run the game, you'll notice that my character is walking, but if I hold down on the shift key, my character is now sprinting, and if I let go of shift, my character is now walking. So that is pretty much how you set up a sprinting system inside of Unreal Engine 5 for your game. If you guys found this tutorial to be very useful, make sure you guys like the video as well as subscribe to the page with all your notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. And I'm going to see you guys.